hello everyone welcome back to the part 2 uh, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to calculate the area of uh, reducer and the offset so just take a look here is the reducer it's the AutoCAD drawing uh, its uh, length is 385 and its width and height is 450 by 300 one side this side this side is 450 by 300 and another side that reduced side is 400 by 250 this is the reduced side so we need formula for this which is the width 1 plus height 1 plus width 2 plus height 2 so take a look this is the 450 by 300 is the uh, high uh, sorry weight 1 this is the height 1 this is the width, width 2 this is the height 2 so we need two widths and two heights for this this is one side and this is the other side and we need the length of the reducer so take a look at the formula in X sheet here is the reducer this one first of all we have to put the one side one side is 450 by 300 it's 450 by 300 and this is the width one this is the height height one and we need to put width width 2 width 2 is 400 by 250 height 2 400 by 250 so it is 400 by 250 so this is the one side this is the another side reducer is reduced from 450 to 300 to 450 to 250 and its uh, length is 385 it's 385 385 so you will get the area so what I do for the area I just put the formula C12 plus C D12 this is the C12 C12 is the width 1 plus D12 height height 1 plus width 2 plus height 2 so add all of these and then multiply by length and multiply the quantity so you will get the area of the reducer and then divide this mm square or square mm by 9 to 903 you will get the area in square feet so if you need this sheet formula sheet I will uh, provide you kindly comment for this uh, I will put it uh, put a link for this formula for this X sheet I made these for myself uh, for uh, using it for different projects so okay uh, now we need to calculate the area of uh, up and down taper mean up and down reducer like look at this reducer this is the down reducer this is the down reducer sometime uh, we have different type of reducers some up and down so there is an offset for this actually there is no offset when this duct is in upside and this duct is downside so there will be a reduced offset so what you will need for this uh, I, I cannot show you uh, in this drawing because it is 2d you can uh, see it on uh, site or maybe in 3d but uh, for this you just need the formula is same height plus width one height one add all of width and heights multiply by length and so for length you will need the length of the reducer plus the offset mean if it's offset down how much is it's down if it's offset up how much it's up for example 
length is 400 reducer length is 400 and the offset length the duct that is offset downward how much it is down for example it is 220 mm so 400 plus 220 mm you will get the total length of the reducer that is maybe a down reducer or up reducer the other formula is same so just put it and then you can calculate it now for the offset formula offset formula is actually same as straight duct formula but in this case you will need the offset length for example here uh, are the different offsets but i cannot show you in this uh, 2d uh, in two dimensional drawing like uh, let me find one in this drawing maybe like this is the you can see this is the offset the duct is down from here if it's down 200 mm down so what you need just width plus height of the offset like it's 450 mm by 550 mm put it here multiply by 2 and then multiply by length plus offset add the offset length and then the total length of the offset uh, total length of the uh, offset like uh, this is the length of the offset okay and how much it is down it is the uh, offset that you need for this for example this length is uh, 400 mm and uh, this offset is downward about 200 mm mean the up duct and the down duct the distance between the up duct and the down duct is 200 mm then add this area this uh, sorry this length with the length of the that offset that the distance between the two uh, ducts up and down so add these two then you will get the you will get the length total length of the offset the other formula is same is like a straight duct so thank you everyone for watching if you have any question regarding this or you need anything kindly comment i will provide you or uh, kindly uh, comment in email or just uh, post anything you want so i will provide you and uh, other you can see the shoe neck formula shoe neck formula is same as a straight duct width plus height multiplied by two but when you have to calculate the shoe neck the branch like i can show you this is the shoe neck this is the shoe neck this is the 50 mm offset you may call the offset this is the 50 mm the extra piece just add in length 50 mm when you going to calculate the area of the shoe neck and then other is same if there is a lot of quantity for you then multiply the area by quantity you will get the total area and uh, for dummy dummy is also same dummy is actually just a width multiply by height you will get the area because it's just a one piece not a square piece or from all sides not covered so this is the whole concept of these formulas thank you everyone